welcome back everyone so many windows user is still found windows 10 much far better than windows 11 and if you are one of them then you must check these eight secret settings of windows 11 that will be surely changing your mind and will be making your experience really amazing night after amazing night. so without any delay let's quickly get started Before you starting guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe as it will not cost you any money but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you. You can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your PC and laptop problem. Now the very first recommendation and the setting is turn off the centered taskbar. So on Windows 11, Microsoft has forced the taskbar and the start menu to be centered at all the time. While some people think it's a fine change other believe it's confusing to have icon move to new places and the taskbar get packed with many kind of application so it's pretty easy to get this back to the windows 10 style so simply what you have to do right click on the windows 11 icon then you will have to click on settings from the left hand menu option you will have to click on personalization then scroll down a bit you will find the taskbar item click on it then at the bottom you will find the taskbar behavior click on it and in the taskbar alignment you can change it from center to left so now you can see my taskbar has been changed from center to left and it looks like windows 10 now and now the next change that i will be talking about is getting the copilot off from your taskbar so with the massive growth in the popularity of ai microsoft launched this copilot automatically on all the updated windows 11 devices and it's really annoying for the many people who have especially upgraded from windows 10 to windows 11. now copilot icon you can find on the very right of the windows search and if you also don't like the copilot and if you want to remove it then it's very easy you will have to make a right click again on the windows icon then you will have to click on settings then from the left hand menu option you will have to click on personalization again you scroll down to taskbar click on it and here you will find the copilot option simply you can toggle it off and the copilot will be now disappeared from your taskbar and now the next setting that i will be talking about is showing the fps that is frame per second through the xbox game bar now this tip is for all kind of gamer who want to consistently want to monitor their frame rate while gaming then you can easily do that by just enabling the xbox game bar so it's very simple to enable what you will have to do while gaming you can press the shortcut key that is windows along with the g key g as in george and you will be getting these kind of options and from the top any option you will have to click on performance and then at the left hand corner you can now find the performance box that will be helping you to know what kind of cpu has been utilized the gp usage the vram the fps and the ram usage this can be really useful for the people who are really concerned about the frame rate about the cpu and the ram usage so without any using a third party tool you can go and use this option all right so now in the next setting we will be utilizing the snap windows feature so the snap windows feature let you place windows side by side in a neat and tidy arrangement throughout a few simple presets now i have noticed that still many users don't use this feature probably they are not sure how to use it but trust me this can be really useful for you if you work on multiple application and before using you also need to make sure that you have enabled the multitasking the snap windows from your settings so what you have to do right click on windows icon then you will have to click on settings then from the left in menu option click on system then you have to look for multitasking click on it and here on the very top you will find the snap windows option that says snap windows to automatically resize and arrange them into layout so make sure this option has been enabled so now once you have enabled this option and in order to use the snap windows feature if you are working on multiple application then you have to move the application to the very top and now on the top you will find few kind of presets you can see that and let's say that if you want two applications side by side then you can go with the first one if you want that there should be application on the half of the screen and other two applications should be on the other half of the screen then you can go with this one if you want to access four application at a time then you can go with this one so for example let's say if i want to go this one with four application at a time then i will just drop that in this preset and now you can see that i have four layout over here so now you can see that i have the three application now 
and if i want to use the fourth one then i can bring it up and i can place it at the right hand corner so now you can see at the same period of time i can work on different application and nothing will be minimized now this can be really useful for the people who do any kind of trading or who do any kind of typing by watching any kind of other screen then they can take the use of this feature and this will be really useful for them okay and now in the next setting we will be easily minimizing the windows through the windows shake so windows 11 introduced a new feature that allowed the user to shake a windows and immediately minimize all the other windows so by default it might be disabled so what you have to do again right click on the windows icon go to settings click on system then again look for multitasking click on it and here you will find title bar windows shake and it says when i grab a windows title bar and shake it it will minimize all the other windows you have to make sure that this option has been enabled now the next time if i bring up multiple application now if i want to minimize all the application quickly then i have to just grab any of the application and then i have to strongly shake it and now you can see that all the other applications are being minimized so again let me show you so let's say i'm working on multiple application and i want to work on the file explorer and i want that all the other applications should be minimized once then i will just hold the file explorer then i will shake it very quickly and then you can see that all the other applications are now being minimized so again this can be really useful for the people who are working on multiple application who are working in a college a school or at work and don't want that other people can find that what exactly you are doing then you can use this feature to quickly minimize all the other pages all right so now let's move with the next setting that really people complain about windows 11 is the context menu so when they make a right click on the desktop so they find this kind of new context menu where each and every time they have to click on show more option to get the other option highlighted same if you make a right click on any of the application again you have to click on show more option so if you want to bring back the windows 10 old context menu then you can easily do that for that we have to use the registry editor but in order to make it easier what i have done i have created a command that you have to copy from the description and you have to run in the terminal okay so you will be getting that command just simply copy that command then you have to click on your windows search type terminal right click on it then click run as admin click on yes now here in the terminal you just have to make a right click here the command will be automatically pasted again hit the enter key and then it will say the operation completed successfully so in order to see the changes now either you will have to go ahead and restart the computer or you can also restart the file explorer so let's see whether after restarting the file explorer it work or not so i'll just right click on windows icon then click on task manager then i have to look for the windows explorer in case if you don't find then you can bring up the file explorer and minimize it back again so once you get the windows explorer right click on it then click on restart and once it get restarted this time if i make a right click on the desktop so you can see that i got the old context menu back on my windows 11 that looks almost like windows 10 all right even if i right click on any of my applications so you can see that i'm getting the old context menu okay now let's talk about the next windows 11 setting that is writing down easily with the voice to text option so voice to text is a convenient feature that let the user speak into a microphone and windows 11 will automatically transcribe what they say into whichever text box their cursor is currently selecting and in order to enable it what you have to do you simply need to press windows plus h key from your keyboard and once you press this key you will find microsoft speech services now next what you have to do you need to bring up that document that page where exactly you want to type so let's say i will bring up my notepad and i will place my cursor in the notepad again i will press the window plus h key so once this box is been up you have to click on the setting gear icon on the very left of it and make sure this voice typing launcher has been enabled so toggle it on then click on select default microphone and make sure that your right microphone has been selected and after selecting it the next time when you click on the mic icon and when you speak anything it will be automatically writing in the text box where the cursor has been placed as of now you can see it's not writing anything because my mic is being used for recording for the obs software 
But yes, once you select the right mic from the setting and the next time when you read anything, it will be automatically writing that text into the box which you have selected. So it's really useful feature for the people who want to write any kind of uh, messages, any kind of text or any kind of detailed document. All right, so now let's move with the last setting of Windows 11 that is improving your focus with Windows 11. So similar to many mobile devices, Windows 11 now has a feature called focus mode, which hide notification and turn do not disturb mode. So in order to enable it, what you can do, right click on Windows icon, then you have to go to settings. Then click on system from the left hand menu option. And there you'll find an option of focus. So click on focus. And now in the focus, you get many different options like show the timer in the clock app, hide badges on the taskbar application, hide flashing on taskbar application, turn do not disturb. And you can have a focus session anywhere from 5 minutes to 4 hours. And you can manage the duration from here depending that what kind of duration you want, you can select from here. So once you are ready, you can simply click on start focus session and then you can start working on your device and you will not be getting disturbed by any kind of notification or any kind of badges. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found all these eight important settings of Windows 11 really useful. And if you apply them, then surely it will be improving your performance and your experience on Windows 11. And if you found this video helpful, guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell notification on. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.